with the construction grid in place, we are now ready to start drawing the external and internal walls. And I will start this by activating the wall tool, which is found under design. So let's go to design here. And under design, we have the various architectural tools. And I'll choose to, I'll click on the wall tool to activate it. Then I'll open the wall settings dialog, which will uh, display this dialog that has the wall default settings. And in terms of geometry and positioning, I want this wall structure to be basic wall structure. And that allows me to have uh, customizations for the wall thickness, which I want to specify as 200 millimeters. That is the wall thickness. In terms of top link, this, uh, this wall, I want to set as not linked to any, to any top floor uh, there. Then I will have the settings for the floor plans and the section left as default, including model, structural analytical parameters. Here I will set the structural function of the wall as load bearing, which is going to allow me to perform a structural uh, analytics on, on, on the building. Then under, under classification and properties, we have this... Um, properties that we need to define but basically for this basic floor plan i will not change anything under classification and properties so i'll just click on ok we have the wall tool activated and ready to start drawing our walls so i'll start with grid f so there's a wall running through grid f from num from um, from horizontal grid one to horizontal grid nine so I'll zoom to F here and click on this intersection. That is going to be shown as that for my wall to be at the center. Basically, uh, the grids are located at the center of the walls. So I want to change here a reference line location here to be at the center. So that when I draw my wall, the grid is going to be at the center of, of the wall like that. So I'll hold the shift button there or rather the shift key like that that then the, draw that wall up to uh, that point so that is my first wall that is grid f from number one to number nine and then the next wall is going to be running from a grid f here horizontally up to where we have a we have now the wall running from grid number one up to grid number four then from there the intersection of grid number A4 up to where we have the intersection of E4 here, like that. So from there, we'll put in place this wall that runs along grid B. We have another wall from, uh, and that is along, uh, that's along this grid line 9. Uh, the horizontal the horizontal one so the wall runs up to that point then from there we have grid 6 that is from 9 to 6 vertically like that moves then up to this point and then we have a wall here note that is grid D so from uh, D9 point to D7 like that, then this connects to close that gap. And from here, which is uh, E, this intersection, the wall runs up to where we have E4, that point. So we have other walls. So from where we from where we have this wall is a distance of a distance of sorry uh, I'll move 
and drag a copy of this how many units should be uh, 3600 i hope so let's confirm with the dimension line that's 34 so i'll move this 100 up to there that becomes 36 let's see what this is 36 so that's okay so that is where we have the next wall so is forming a room there so we have those in place we have another wall running along grid 2 so let's go back to the wall tool runs from this intersection to here and then from that intersection to where we have grid 3 so it should run up to here then move inside to intersection of G and 3 then move like that up to where we have grid 5 and then we'll have our between here like that that forms a room at that point from grid uh, intersection of grid eight, eight eight is here so that runs up to here and this goes that way and then connects at that point so we have those internal and external walls that we have placed there basically the various walls that we have so what i want to do is select all the walls by control a on my keyboard then go to the settings dialog for the wall under geometry and positioning i'll concentrate on floor plan I'll concentrate on uh, floor plan and section settings so here we have cut surfaces so under cut surfaces you, you have this option for override cut fill pens so right now it's set as none i want to click on this arrow and set it as both you set it as both you have activated now the pen pen tool for cut fill foreground pen and cut fill background pen so all these i want to set them as one and click ok you will see you will see that uh, we have now this new arching that has been achieved for our walls and if i look at it if i look at the walls that way i think they they look better in terms of presentation so that's internal and external walls for our project let's meet in the next video